That's why we're watching Sunny V2 first. We're watching Sunny V2 first, and then we're gonna dive into the new stuff that came out with uh, with um, Nicardo. So plan plan is the following, chat. The plan is the following. We're watching Sunny V2's video on Nicardo's new video is honestly just depressing. And then we see what the hell is going on with Nicaro Avocado because apparently he lost weight. So I don't know how updated this video is going to be on it. Some of you said it's not, uh, already outdated, so we shall see. Yes, hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. Zen's Garden, thank you for the Prime. Happy late birthday, thank you. Zen's Garden just subscribed with Prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Birthday. Thank you. Let's go, chat. It's massively outdated. Okay. I still want to see what's up. And everyone wonders why That's I'm posting less. <laughs> I don't like what I've done. I don't like what I've become. I don't like what I look like. Nikocado's recent video is so incredibly tragic, it makes all of his previous breakdowns seem like they were happy moments. Simply I... titled by... Oh, shit. I haven't been keeping up with, um... Nikado Avocado shit forever, man. Hi! Like, the last thing I remember from Nikado Avocado is his Joker arc. That's the last thing I remember. Like, where he's like this content creation machine, you know? Like, where he said, like, he, he, he it's all, like, planned and shit like hey, that. Nikocado talks about deeply regretting his time on YouTube, in the process admitting to financial ruin, and the ways in which fame destroyed his life completely. The 41 minute video begins on terrible footing, as after only 24 seconds, Nick's already almost on the verge of tears. Just gonna tell oh, you man. right off the bat, I'm on the edge of a breakdown. Most likely by the end of this video, I'm gonna be flipping out. <sighs> 41 minutes long. Revealed. Nick had begun to realize YouTube was actually a terrible choice. My life. Well, was yeah. Great. So I decided to do this YouTube life, and I'm sitting. Yeah. Here thinking, I have thrown away the best years. Like YouTube was definitely feeding into his fucking like him getting fatter and fatter. Like definitely, people were literally like it was pay in the end, pay pics in the end, right? Because people loved looking at it. And they kept encouraging uh, an unhealthy lifestyle. Second chance. I wish I could turn back the clock. I wish I could go back in time. I wish I would never have done YouTube. I wish I would have never decided that this would be a fun way to make a living. That this would be a fun way to have a life. This would be a fun way to provide for my family. He further hints as to why. My job is to face people who hate me. Who don't care for me. That don't they aren't even interested in me. They're here for someone fat. Yet he's interrupted yeah. by his pizza delivery. Let's do the, <laughs> the fucking irony of this man. Oh my god. Nah, him crying about them being here for someone fat and then getting in this fucking greasy ass pizza. The only moment where Nick isn't totally miserable. However, the second he takes a bite, you can see Nikocado's dark realization that he despises his life completely. Aww. I don't like this! I don't like this channel. I don't like Aww. what I'm doing with my life. Chet? Like, I gotta say something. Like, his teeth are hella clean. <laughs> For the way he's eating, his teeth are hella in good condition. Oh what the f- What the fuck? Holy shit, his teeth are in such a good condition! <laughs> Look at it, though! Like, holy shit! Like, wow! Like, no cavities, no nothing, like, wow! <laughs> I don't like this channel. I don't like what I'm doing with my life. I had goals, I had dreams, and I threw it all away to mm. eat food. Nick hating his job isn't unexpected, but his claim about money is a little more surprising. The irony is I barely made any money for the past two, three years. Wait, Across what? Nick Ricardo's five biggest channels, he's done 1.85 billion views total. How is that barely any money? ad rate of $3 per thousand views means he's made 5.5 million from YouTube ads alone. He also well, charges 
$5 per cameo and has over a thousand reviews, meaning if you include maybe another thousand people who didn't review, he's also likely made over a million dollars from this. Then Nick also has a Patreon and his iconic line of yeah. merch, which when combined with- <laughs> Bro's Patreon, I remember his- Oh my god, they're- like his ass shot got leaked, man. Oh my god, I, oh my god. Oh my god, I can't. Ugh. Everything else could mean total career earnings of almost 10 million. So, how this could it be what? possible he didn't yep. make much money? Well, this Nick Ocado would elaborate. Naked. I hate behind that my job is showing up here and hoping I get paid from it because the YouTube gods strike me down three years ago and it's never improved. Oh, to imply okay. His videos were rarely monetized, which has been happening for over three years. We tested okay, this well, by that would explain it on a fresh new account and found that most videos on more Nikocado don't even play one single ad. On the oh, contrary, most well of then, his yeah. channel videos have ads, but his earnings didn't matter anyway. Because any okay. money he did make has now been fully wasted. It wasn't even worth it. I barely made any money. And the money I did make, I... Lost. To the Lost. extent that Nick Ocado is now struggling to survive. I hate my finances. I hate my husband. I hate my family. I hate my friends. I hate my work. I hate this country. I hate this place. It's a pay so much just to survive. As a result, he begins to consider even moving to a different country. I'm probably be for the best. Indonesia. Have a Indonesia. And do you know how much she paid for her dinner? Two dollars. And 24 cents. Which Nick has actually Bruce done married? Before, yeah. Having Bruce spent married. Three years living in South America. He acknowledges the easier solution would have simply been to make a different type of content. And I knew if I would have done something more age appropriate or more whatever friendly. What was this all for? I don't even like this. Or more tragically, stick with his previous love of playing violin. Oh. I purpose to create beautiful music. To inspire people, to give people hope when they're going through horrible shit. It seems Nick Ocado's mukbangs have destroyed his previous talent. I used to play the violin, then my fingers got too fat, they get stuck under the strings, they go boonk. And then I can't play anymore. Missing violin as an art Holy form shit. that actually impacted people's lives. All it takes is in this video, he already looks way less fat than in the previous five seconds. Like, bro, he already improved so much, like, between those seconds. Like, you can see his chin ain't a fucking chin. I hope he now plays the violin again. I hope so, too. We shall see, like, what's the lightest stuff on him it afterwards. But you can already see he lost a massive amount of health, man. Angles, Mattis? It's not only the angle. This is not only the angle. Like, look at his entire body here. Like, just look at his face. His cheeks are all puffy. His cheeks are all puffy. His cheeks aren't that puffy here. One person. Is the ukulele tuned? Almost. Almost. I I I tuned it a bit. Oh, Sherlock got scared. Like it's almost tuned. I I got a battery for the tuner now. Uh, so I've been at it. Kids a place? No. Uh, I got the ukulele gifted. That's a lot of tune. Yes, I know, but. Almost. To a concert it's or better. A show, and you change their life because you inspire them to do something similar or to go into the arts or something. And I'm sitting here eating food. In Oompaville's It's Your Fault, Nick Ocado further added, I was very good. I got Holy a full ride shit. scholarship to my school. Could you, could the you Juilliard shred? school? Have you known about it? I went to the Juilliard for two years. I don't know what that is. With Juilliard being the world's most prestigious music school. A user on what? Reddit found Nick's wow. of violin achievements, of which there were certainly many, and it therefore makes sense that he was good enough to teach. Have you ever had a job? Yeah, many. Violin lessons. I used to play at weddings. A YouTuber named what? Violin Mechanic also watched all of Nick's violin videos, concluding he was near professional. Right from the bat, I can tell that this guy plays fantastically in tune. And it seemed this I never knew. other people was what Nick missed more than anything else. When I would finish my shows, I would sign autographs. People would wait in a line to take photos of me, which I think some people would now, but it's for a different Reason. Yeah, it's not now I'm it's inspired. now it's because it's like it's as if they're watching an animal in the zoo kind of thing, you know. It's because I am a fat 
funny meme. By playing on the street, Nick attracted massive crowds. But as he sits there thinking for over 20 seconds, he realizes what he truly misses is the respect he had for himself. And I had a sense of pride, a sense of honor, a sense mm. of happiness. I felt closer to God, actually. In comparison to his music, Look at him, he used to be such He's a cutie lost all man. Motivation to mukbang. I felt like I was doing something that I was called to do. I don't feel that with these videos. Which can definitely be felt throughout the entire video. I can't even fake sit here and fake this for you. I'm not going to. He tries to talk about the food but clearly doesn't care. Let's try these breadsticks. Hmm. It's fine. As Nick's instead mm. preoccupied with a you guys think this was the breaking point, actually? Like, since we know now that some shit did happen. You guys think this was the breaking point? Thought of him retiring. Dude, if I just quit YouTube, who's gonna care? A hundred, couple hundred people, okay. I can't watch Nikocado slurp noodles and eat taki. Oh, my life's not the same. I should watch Nikocado eat taki. It's a topic he's been considering throughout the previous year. February 2024. Uh, so why doesn't he quit and do something else completely? Well, well he addresses this mm -hmm. also. I can't even get a normal job. I mean, imagine if I went to apply doing some type of management. Because I'm so known or there's so many horrible things I've put myself into, situations, it's like, it's going to create a polarizing environment. You know how many people hate me? They don't want to work with me. It's like, great. So now I've really limited myself. Sadly, Nick is probably right. If he was spotted working retail, it'd be a story instantly. <laughs> but there are still other it would YouTube be, ideas unfortunately. that could also be Successful. A YouTuber named Usgang went unexpectedly viral when he began a series titled Try to Lose Weight in 100 Weeks. Well, Nick showed in his recent hmm. video that he was already losing weight. I recently lost 89 pounds, but I'm still morbidly obese. I can't even fit in a chair. Which has been proven as an hmm. element the audience likes to follow. Combine this with Nick Accardo's notoriety and you've got a mega viral series. <laughs> what the fuck, Sonny? <laughs> What the fuck, Sony? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That just made me laugh, man. That could fix his channel health and decline <laughs> self-esteem. I'm so ugly. I don't want to be mm. ugly. Whilst giving him... I totally get that, though. Not being happy with your own body, man. I can totally understand that. I I'm sure I have, like, a low form of body dysmorphia. I'm not happy with my body either. But, man. But... I'm obviously nowhere near worse, like near as bad as Nicardo Avocado, but yeah, I, I can totally sympathize with him. Respect from every single viewer. Imagine if he disappeared off of YouTube for a year or two, lost all the weight and built muscle, became an absolute chad, and returned to YouTube as a violin YouTube. Hey, Chad. <laughs> Didn't that... Didn't something like that just happen? <laughs> Didn't something like that just happen? <laughs> Like, I don't know exactly what happened. Like, I know he lost a lot of weight. I wanted to wait till I watched this video until I look further into it, but didn't? Didn't something like that actually happen? The respect he'd receive would be Don't insane. worry about it. The only problem okay. is Nick's completely terrified of trying something new. The worst part is I have an escape route and I'm so afraid to take it. At this point, however, is there even another alternative? I'm halfway through life. I don't want to spend the next half. Halfway through life? How old is he? What does he think is halfway through life? Max is green, hey! He has 40, I believe? Max is green, just subscribed for two months. How old is Nikado? Nick Nikado Avocado. He's 32! You're not halfway through life! I mean, if you're fat, you are, I guess. If you're fat, I guess you're more than halfway through life. Probably. Like, not only fat, like, but morbidly obese. There comes a lot of health risks through it, so I guess. If he doesn't slim down a bit, that is. Yeah, I guess. More like last five years. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But, yeah. Even with this massive weight loss, I can't imagine a permanent... Uh, I can't imagine a permanent damage done. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. Like, if you get diabetes through 
being obese, are you able to lose diabetes again if you lose that weight? Or does the diabetes stay? It stays? Depends? It stays? Uh, that sucks. That sucks ass. You can reverse it? Well, now I'm having mixed uh, answers. Just lessens the symptoms, but it stays. Generally, no, but there is an occasion when it can be reversed. Okay. So generally, no, but it can be lessened. And some cases even reversed, I guess. Depends. I'm a pro squatter. No way you will get rid of me. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> diabetes. Being like this. Even Nick himself admitted he can't keep doing mukbangs. You can't keep betting on the dying horse. You just yeah. can't. And in my yeah. stupid yeah. mind, it's like, it will change, it'll get better. Oh, if I pump out more content, it just, I'm not liked. I'm just not yeah. liked. That's, but that's, you are, that's the yeah, fact. he's and being hate watched. And I doubt Nick's as it's a hate watch. As he clearly thinks. There are loads of different people who appreciate the meme, while his series he made with Oompaville helped restore his reputation. The honesty in his recent video also makes him much more likable, especially in the segments where he takes responsibility. But it's nothing to do with you, really. It's everything to do with me. Still, Nikocado's convinced that everybody hates him. And I'm here, filming for people who hate me. Wow, my life is so cool. Making the video's main point all the more obvious. He desperately needs to try something new. It's like a dead relationship. You're clinging to something dead. Stop yeah. living in the past. Hmm. Wow, it ends here. Okay. Okay, now... It's like... Cassio, everyone jokes about his weight, but he has a more lovable personality. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Here's the video chat. <laughs> I This definitely felt like an open end, like, I don't know. Felt very, very, very open-ended. But... Now, chat! Now! We're going... To look at what actually happened. We're going to look at Nikado Avocado. What are we gonna do? Where are we gonna go? Are we gonna look at his actual video? Nikado. Nikado. Nikado Avocado. Hi, you guys! Two steps ahead, chat. He's two steps ahead. Moist did a video? Which one do you guys- Oh my god, that thumbnail. That fucking thumbnail, man. <laughs> two steps ahead. He's two steps ahead, chat. Um... Let's see. Two steps ahead. I am always two You know what's funny? You know what's funny? That someone said seven months, like... In seven months he's just gonna lose a lot of weight and he has seven months video. To that. That's funny. Two steps ahead. I am he looks skinnier? What the fuck? Yeah. You'll Two see why. Ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment <laughs> for my entire life. Sure. It's, <laughs> it's compelling. It's <laughs> gripping. To oh my god. All these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet. In the search of stories. Ideas, Two steps ahead. Rivalries. Where they feel Why is he a panda? And engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories. And become a he is the Joker. Influence. He is the joke guy after Thirsty all. For a distraction from time unspent. Spoiling because of panda lives, eats. Yet stimulating them at the same time. He said it's this in a video two years ago. And it's 
Do not so Yeah yeah, like in the video like this Joker arc began then. If I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. Bro talk normal. <laughs> He's talking people. normal. All of these lost and bored. The fuck people. is he doing? He's the Joker! People what do you mean? Anything that they're He's the Joker! This is Zara Loki? Yeah! So I am the villain. I... Because I've made myself one. I'm so... Honestly, like, seeing this glow up, though, I... I can't feel but, like, be, like, honestly happy for him. Like, why shaved? I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know. Ignore the shaving, but I I am so happy for him that he lost all of that weight. It's I'm I'm actually so happy, even though he's like he's like the joke and all that fucking shit and all that man. I don't fucking know about that shit, but I'm so happy for him that he lost all this weight. I wonder what he did with all that extra skin. There must have been enough to make a parachute out of oh my god. Oh my god. And you will continue to consume these stories about If you're so proud, I know, right? Year after year after year. For as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. Stories. I don't, I, I don't know if I want to believe that. And infect the minds of the ants. Influence the ants. We all live in his world. The ants. You are the ants. Oh my god. From God's gonna noble to God's gonna apostle. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Actually though, holy shit. <laughs> Today I woke up from a very long dream. You think he got uh, Chad, do you think he got a an an um what's it called? What what is it called? Um is it called liposuction? Liposuction? Mm. Not sure. Uh 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 Yes? Maybe uh uh I need to like look up the proper lipo liposuction. Fat absorbing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they remove the fat. Plus the swim in Ozempic. <laughs> and the gastric bypass. Uh, yeah, that's what I also thought. Do you think he got a gastric bypass? My stepfather got a gastric bypass, by the way. My stepfather got a gastric bypass. My f stepfather was morbidly obese. He got a gastric bypass. And, well, he hates his life now because he LOVED eating. Motherfucker LOVED eating. And now he hates his life because he can't eat as much anymore, but at least he's thin. At least he looks like a skeleton. You know? At least he looks like a skeleton now, so that's a plus. And I also woke up. To be fair, Nikado doesn't look like a skeleton, so I... Wouldn't think he got a gastric bypass. I wouldn't think he got a gastric bypass. Maybe, maybe liposuction? Maybe. But I don't think a, a, a gastric a bypass. Having lost 250 pounds off of how, my body. How much is that in kilograms? Yeah, just yesterday. People in kilogram. were calling me a, fat. 113 and kilograms, Jesus. And boring. Well, what's with that heavy background noise? People are the most messed up creatures on the That's entire true. planet. That's true. People fucking suck. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead <laughs> of everyone. He's the Joker, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god, the face. The joke's on you. No! <laughs> he knew! He knew! He knew! Oh, bird! What a cute little birdie! Look at that birdie! 
Mickey. Oh. No. <gasps> Mr. Noodle, you're so cute. Buddy. Oh. He's eating yeah. again? Maybe. Yeah. Oh. No. You're so cute. No. Yeah. You saw the double no. sides of humanity first sent? Yeah, like I guess so. Yeah, ah! You look like a big green avocado. Which is my favorite fruit ever. Yeah. <laughs> what a thought. Oh, Avocados are so good, though. Mr. I knew you liked that. You miss me so Mexican much. lose in seven months. That sure is 30 to 40 kilograms. You miss me so much. What I've been reading is that people have been saying that a lot of his uh, like last videos were pre-recorded. That's what I've seen people say. I know. It was eight years. Separate. Or Holy shit, he's just eating. I know. How many years was it? How many years? Tell me. How many years were we separate for? Why were they separated? Yeah. I know, my baby. I had no choice. I had no choice. Including the Umpaville interview? Yeah, maybe. We're, we're back home. Should be due. We're home. Hello. Okay, I don't know if I can sit through 25 minutes of this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a summary of this as a reaction Andy should do. Last Set. night I went to bed really early. I was just all tuckered out, so I said mm -hmm. goodbye, Moon, and I snuggled on into bed to catch some Z's. Little some bit I know Z's that Z's. while I slumbered, we'd all been paid a visit by someone very The special. Joker! And I'm not talking about the Santa joke, Claus, baby. But I'm talking about another man in a red shirt. Nikocado Avocado. I woke up this morning in a different timeline. I think we shifted back to the Baron Steen Bears universe and left the Baron Stain Bears universe behind. We shift the timelines. We Two fucking shift the timelines. He's the Joker, baby! Two steps ahead. This has been the I was about to look this video up, he just stopped reading my mind. My bad! My bad. So I am the villain because I've made myself one. This moment right here is this generation's "I am your father." This is up there with the Darth Vader identity reveal. Perhaps one of the most unexpected things I've seen in quite some time. When I'm I was so happy this, I for him. Whoa! Like I I'm so help happy for Nikado. I'm so happy for him though. Me having say so over it. My body itself, my soul was shocked when he took the mask off there so he gives like a villain monologue that sounds like it's out of the fallout universe talking about how he's two steps ahead because he had played the villain for so long now today i woke up i a... what do you guys think do you guys believe he is actually a mastermind or do you think he's just trying to play that role right now for monetization reasons i I don't believe Mastermind. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. Would be fucking crazy if it was, but I don't believe it. I, 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 I don't. A very long dream. I think he's trying to play into it, yeah. And I also woke up. No one plans for on a pounds, yeah. Pounds he's doing a rebrand? Yeah. Yet just yesterday, people were calling me fat and sick. Yeah. And boring. Losing 250 Literally. pounds Literally. is an unbelievable feat. That's nothing shy of extraordinary. And he mentions how even yesterday, YouTubers and many other people were calling him sad, fat, depressing, sick, and all of that, and still making videos about him, even while yeah, literally over the course of literally, we just watched Sunny V's video, which was released two days ago, man. Holy shit. The fact that he dropped the video, I, you can't make this up, something. Dude. Do you think... Sunny knew? Do you think Sunny knew? I mean, Sunny's video almost has, what, 3 million views now? Like, right after that? Like... Holy shit, I can't, man. Like, 8 pun intended. 
had been losing all of that weight and all the Pretty videos that us, he played it to perfection he did videos that Nikocado had filmed two years but the, prior the fact kept... bro the fact that Sunny's video dropped two days ago and just yesterday Nikocado dropped that new video like there's no way that's a coincidence the coincidence like that just doesn't happen Trip feeding to the community to keep them either entertained or keep him five teachers yeah drama for people to latch on to it it is actually very fascinating now, it has 10 million recall, views now years ago Nick Fuck. Avocado and myself had a tiny bit of beef i'm talking like a salisbury steak level of beef between us and we had a bit of a tinkle tussle back and forth pissing contest and Boo! Fact check jump scare. I wanted to double check when all of that took place, so I looked at it. It turns out it was 2021. Maybe he was two steps uh, ahead? Maybe he was! Coming up on three years, not four. I was a little off on that. Time moves very weird now. Time, I, I don't know what happened, but time is moving at a different speed than it used to. After all that drama, I had actually kept up with Nikocado Avocado, occasionally just tuning in to check in and see what's He's going on. He's trying to make his 60 chess like plan. <laughs> on a piece of content yeah. that Nick dropped where he actually did talk about a weight loss journey that he was going on. And I've kind of just been cheering him on from the sidelines ever since then, just hoping that he'd follow through on that and just to see where it all goes. So to see this come up was not only extremely surprising, just given how much weight he had lost in a relatively short period of time. I know to a lot of people, two years... Yeah, it had like to be pre-recorded, man. That's like ancient history. Things that happened two years ago, that might as well be the fucking void century that no one... Literally. Like, literally. Like... Bro, things that happened a week ago are already, like, fucking forgotten. Like, Concord is almost fucking forgotten. Concord shut down and now... We're gonna move on to the next thing. Oh my god. People don't fucking care anymore. Remembers. Or like, but rather, people don't, like... It's not that they don't care, it's more like that... People don't... Like... How do I phrase this? I'm sorry. My English is, uh, lacking. My English is lacking. Concord vanished out of existence. It did, it did. Um... People always need a new thing. People always need a new thing, like... New things keep coming up left and right. Oh my god, I just noticed the goof juice on here. I still gotta try goof juice, I think. I'm gonna order goof juice a little bit later. People lose interest so fast. Yes, yes, people lose interest really, really, really fast. That's the one. People lose interest really fast. Like, Thank you. <laughs> just couldn't years, think there for a second. 250 pounds? That's a speed run. Those are gold splits. I haven't made a video for like two years, and um, this is where well, I'm posting on this channel. So birdie. I hope you consider subscribing if you want. I'm actually posting more next week, so yeah, that would birdie. be a lot to me. On his second channel, it looks so happy now. It's been two years since he's made a video, so you can peace, little bread. Yeah, okay. It's been two years since he's made a video. It's been two years since he made a video, so yeah, pre-recorded. Subscribed. Yo, Tongs! What we gonna call the baby? Oh, what are we gonna call the baby? You choose. <laughs> you got to choose the baby's name. <laughs> Thank you. Just together in your how you doing? All this path here, connecting the dots. He has released videos on all yeah. of his channels over the course of two years. Poops and Quite arrow. A few of them. Not Fuck to the sake. same frequency that he used to, but he still had a ton of videos that he was releasing over the last mm. two years. Videos that were posted two weeks ago, or even as recent as two five weeks days ago. ago, where he is that same weight, were all oh my God. recorded years ago. And it's not like it's Holy CGI, shit. it's not AI-generated content. Nick actually just had a crazy backlog, like the Library of Alexandria for mukbangs. Wow. Wow. Yeah, uh, chat. Maybe Nicardo Avocado is actually the Joker. Maybe he actually is the Joker. Oh, the shit. <laughs> and he just kept going to the vault to upload some of that old pre recorded content as if it was new, and people were none the wiser. I even went through these two videos here in particular just to see if I could find like a date somewhere on like his phone or when he went to the heart attack grill, like maybe like a calendar sticking on a wall, but. 
I didn't see anything. Maybe I missed it. I did kind of go through it like 2x speed, so maybe it like flashed by really quick and I, I just didn't see it. But I, I do believe him that these were recorded years ago because yeah i believe that too logical explanation yeah. for how yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. right now yet yeah. five days ago he has a video yep. of a heart attack grill where he's still like 400 pounds or whatever it was dude was playing chess while the rest of us were playing checkers he played us like a goddamn violin and nick speaking of violins i hope he's going back to playing the violin man i really hope so if many of you might not remember this from the Nick Expanded Universe, the, the lore, but he was actually an incredible Did you ask uh, Tonks regarding the lifetime sub? No, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot to ask. Player. But uh, we're in the middle of the video now. We were gonna talk about after video. He was more decorated than, like, Captain America in terms of accolades when it came to this. Like, in his field of violin, he was a very well-regarded, talented player. And he came out here the avocado baby. He, like, he, he really was, like, Where the fuck did you just pull out a fucking Joker emote? What the fuck? That's a Twitch emote? What? There's a Joker Twitch emote? Why so serious? There's a global emote. What? Sweet melody on that instrument. It was a long eight years, wasn't it? It was a long eight years. And I didn't think that. It would have gone this long, but it did. I'm no joke, it was like baby. A bad dream that, yeah, it was like a really bad dream that we were waiting for it to be over. And oh, he's close to tears. For a long time, Nick became hmm. synonymous with breakdowns on camera. Nick and breakdown went together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and that's yeah. something people talked about a lot. But then always talked mm -hmm. about how it was always fake for views and drama and controversy. I have always somewhat believed that sake, there was shit. always an element of truth to some of the things Nick was saying. I really do believe that Nick was miserable with what he was doing, but felt like he had to keep doing it because that was his source of income. That was his livelihood. And he was probably very afraid to just stop doing that. Well, yeah, but it was also... Because if but a whole lot of it was also demonetized, as we saw earlier. You know, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the entire reaction thing <laughs> into one go. Like the um, Sunny V2 video, the start of the Nikado Avocado video and the Charlie video. I think we're just gonna put it all in into one video <laughs> on the YouTubes. <laughs> People are subscribing to watch you eat yourself to death and you stop doing that, they might leave. And now you've got your ass in your asshole and no money <laughs> being generated anymore because the audience left from you not doing the content they wanted you to be doing. Yeah. And I, I wonder what he's like gonna do like now. He was a prisoner to that for a while. I'm not trying to be an armchair psychologist here. It's just I've watched a lot of Nick's content and it really does feel like there is a lot of truth to some of the things he has said during these moments. And the way he talks about it here, calling it a bad dream, isn't exactly a glowing review of that time. You know, if someone said that to me, like, hey, Charles, I know we spent eight years together, but it's kind of just like a bad dream I'm done with. I wouldn't exactly be smiling from ear to ear. Yeah. Like but now Nick has made some big changes, clearly, and his audience is extremely supportive. They are very receptive Yay! to this, cheering him on in a big way. I'm so happy for him, too. Celebrating. Like, I don't think... Like, any normal fucking human being would be, like, mad about this. I I think all of us are just happy for him. As we should be. Currently play the violin. Perfect time to do it. I really hope he's going back to the violin. The video on his main channel about it is exploding. The video on mm. his second channel is exploding. He's made two videos and both are popping the fuck off. His community is showing nothing but love and oodles of support for this. And it's what people have said for a long time, that if Nick actually did go through this weight loss journey, it'd probably be extremely good for him. Like, not only health-wise, but, like, in terms of his channels and, like, his community. It's yeah. inspirational. Like, people... It is! I think it's clearly showing here. And it's not like Nick has to stop doing mukbangs just because he loses... There are some people who would be mad about it. The fat phobia advocates will be mad at that he lost weight. I hate those fat phobia advocates, man. Like, being fat... It's just unhealthy. Being fat is so fucking unhealthy. If you're fat, it's, n it's not about loving your fucking body and accepting your body. It's about how fucking unhealthy it is. If you're fat, lose, the f lose weight.
If you're happy with the weight that you are, okay, that's great. Sure. But it's still unhealthy. But if they advocate for it, no, it's healthy and all that shit, like, that's so bad. It is so bad. It is so bad. Like, no, it's, it's not good. It's, n it's not good to be fat. It isn't. It just isn't. Stop glorifying being fat. Based to narrow, yeah. Stop glorifying being fat. Don't be a hater, chat. Be fat. Be a fat enjoy instead. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Sorry about that. There's a lot of weight. And it seems like he is going to continue to do mukbangs because he loves doing them. It's one thing to have unrealistic standards and one thing to be obese. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember seeing a video that some fat positive influencers are already dying. They are! They are! They definitely are! That's the thing! Have you seen any old... fat influencers? Yeah, I don't know why. Nico is a joke. Nico is Joker got... Um, Automotted as um, bullying. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, what I'm saying is, being fat is unhealthy, and it's a fact. And it's not a good fact. And I know that it's hard to lose weight. I know it's hard to lose weight. I'm not saying that it's not hard to lose weight. It is hell of a journey to lose weight. Both of my fucking parents, well, my stepfather no longer after he had his fucking gastric bypass. After my uh, stepfather had his gastric bypass, he no longer is fat. He now looks like a skeleton. So there's a wrong way to lose weight too. But my mom is obese, literally. My mom is obese. Speaking of weight, time to uh, squally and do push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said this before too. I also do want to lose weight now. I have admitted that I had, I have put on some kilograms that I'm not happy with. I hate being, um, over, like at a weight that I'm unhappy with. I hate being this weight. I absolutely fucking hate it. I want to improve my life. I look ugly, 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 ugly. So I wanna. Wanna lose those extra pounds. Wanna lose those. It's unhealthy. It's not good. Stop glorifying and romanticizing being fat. Stop it. It's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, you, you will die earlier. And you only live fucking once. Do you want to die earlier? I'm slowly working on losing weight. 20 L LBS down, 20 to go. LBS is pronounced pounds, right? Proud of you. Come back as a chat. Yeah, come back as a chat. Uh, me when I'm on a relatively stable weight. <laughs> Playing ukulele. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be extra fucking uh, 10 pack uh, chat buffed and then I'm gonna play the ukulele. The the mistuned ukulele. Bum, 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 bum. Crazy how a year ago people were preaching fat acceptance on TikTok and now attractiveness is synonymous with weight. Hmm? Yeah, like I was always against those uh, fucking preaching fat acceptance. You shouldn't accept being fat. You should not accept being fat. You should not. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not. I'm saying this. I'm admitting to this. I'm not in an ideal weight either. I do want to change that. It's not good. And looking at Nicado Avocado, I'm so proud of him. That, that, that motivates me like a hundred million times, man. That motivates me so much. We were all just dreaming. Since I started going to the gym, my weight stayed the same, but at least I have more muscle on me. Yeah! Like, there's a difference between muscle weight and fat weight, too. 
There's a difference between healthy weight and fat weight and unhealthy weight. The people who preach that they were fat and some have died because of their unhealthy life sign. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want an extra reason to lose weight, Chatters, your pee, pee looks bigger when you are slim. <laughs> true! That is a true! <laughs> Muscle weight is higher than fat and sugar. I see, I see. It's easier to get more muscles when you are young. Oh. Cheers. And I love being a mukbanger. I love food. I like eating food. And I like being here. So. I'm going to the gym now. Yo! Just because he's lost nice. 250 pounds doesn't mean that he's washed and you need to hang the jersey in the rafters and retire his jersey number. You know, like he can still keep doing mukbangs the same way he was before. But you can weigh more despite looking the same with muscles. Place. Oh, I'll see. Like I said last time when he had lost, I think it was like 89 pounds at the time. He seems happier. You know, like I, I'm, he I'm really does. He really, really, really I, does. I don't know Nick personally, but just from what comes across in the content, he seems happier at lower weights. Like he, mm. in, in the content where he weighs less, he actually just seems like a happier person. At least that's yeah. the impression I yeah. get watching it. So it's really something to celebrate here with what Nick has been able to accomplish. And I really am happy to see that the reception to it has been overwhelmingly positive. It is incredible work. It, like, this is an effort that is... It's fucking amazing. Extremely amazing. Impressive. I'm also really curious and excited to see what Nick does going forward. If he's going to continue to do like exclusively mukbangs or maybe he's going to talk about this weight loss journey that he secretly went on for a long period of time i'd be really interested to see like what he did to lose all of that no one above 35 preaches fat acceptance since uh, they are most likely dead yeah yep true very 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 true lavender pine thanks for the follow i have a bad feeling personally about what about what? Wait so quickly. I think that'd be really interesting content if he talked about it or, you know, showcased, you know, maybe some of the things he was doing for cardio or if he was doing weight what training. Is to what come? that looked like? I think that'd be With really Nicado? good bangers. Like if he made content around that as well. While still, of course, having mukbang be the bread and butter, I think it'd be cool now if he would supplement it with things. About I mean, to be fair, like now that he's at a thin, like, um... Wait, he can easily get a fucking job if he wants to, you know? He doesn't, like, need to be an influencer anymore, like... He, he can easily work now if he wanted to, I would say. Like, now people wouldn't make fun of him anymore because he's obese. Like, you know what I mean? Before he couldn't, because... Yeah, he, he literally couldn't live a fucking normal life with this weight. Hear me out in two more years, he's gonna make a reveal where he's very buff. I I would be happy for him. Yo, Senpai, welcome. Oh, it's true, but knowing how he does think, I have some doubts. Honestly, at this point, I have no idea how Nikaru is thinking. I have no idea how he's thinking. Like, genuinely, no idea. He could be playing us all, he could not be. He can write that on his resume for dedication, will, etc. True. Unfortunately, recruiters don't look too kindly upon ex influences. Oh. Eeeh. Really? Really? That sucks. I got no idea with that. I, I generally have no experience with that. He can probably write a book about his journey of us. He probably could, yeah. He probably could. Probably would sell like wild, like, would fucking sell and spread like wildfire, too. About this weight loss journey. The violin, I think, would be cool to bring back because if you look at Nick's older videos, he really is like a fucking wizard with that instrument. Yo, Mordecai! There's a lot of potential and a lot of possibility with where Nick currently is. And it's nothing but positives here. So I, I wanted to talk about it a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's it. See ya. Oh, that was the end of the video. But I am really hella proud of, like, Nicardo, man. Like, that is so crazy. Holy... Howly. So happy for him. So, so, so happy for him.
so happy. Here you guys go. Here's the video, chat. Here's the video. Um, okay, let's end the video here. Thanks for watching, YouTubes.